Retrobit has been absolutely on fire with bringing some great classic games back that either are really expensive now to get your hands on, like Truxton playing behind me, or it's one of those that had such limited release, they're hard to find. Now, one of their more recent releases is in my hands right now. And how do you say it? Gaieris? 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 Let me know down in the comments how you pronounce it. It is Gaieris. Uh, and we are lucky to have a copy here thanks to the fine folks over from Retrobit. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for coming by and checking out what we have going on here today. Now, this is one of their limited edition re-releases and they have worked with Reno Publications to bring this back to the market. Now, this is a very limited re-release. If you haven't pre-ordered yours yet, you may have a hard time getting yours. Make sure you check out castlemaniagames.com. He will have limited stock. But what we're gonna do in this episode, we're gonna unbox this, see everything that it comes with, there are some extra goodies that I'm not showing you on screen right here that came in the box with this. We're gonna show you some gameplay. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. Here we have the uh, collector set of Gaieris itself. We will dive into it, and it shows you everything on the back that it does come with. So it covers the fact that we have the embellished slip cover, the reversible cartridge sleeve, full color manual, the t-shirt, which we'll show you in a second, exclusive interview with James Bunker, certificate of authenticity, the front and the back of the cartridge as well, which is pretty, pretty neat to see. This is overall a nice looking set. It is for use on the Genesis and Mega Drive, along with many of the compatible systems too. And here you can see, can you say Guy Aris? So, you know, it's one of the things with this, how do you say this? I guess it's Guy R Us. So good to see there. And uh, I don't know if they're sending out multiple sizes or not. This is an extra large because I am an extra large boy. And then on the back, it does have the Retrobit logo too, which is pretty cool to see. So we'll grab our handy dandy X-Acto knife here. I am so glad that Retrobit is expanding. Like, I love me Nintendo systems. I'm not gonna lie. I love the NES and the Super NES and all that but I love the fact that we are getting more Genesis and Sega systems. Um, hey guys, how about some Master System love? How about that? Oh, it looks like this may be double sealed, so a seal over the main box and then one over the box inside. Maybe, there we go. And now this way I can set this aside still with the plastic and be good. So on the back here, you can see Mother Earth has been turned into an environmental wasteland by careless humans. It's always those damn careless humans. Um, and it tells you basically the story of it there. Does have the Genesis style hanger tab, which I love. There's our certificate of authenticity, 16, <laughs> 69. <laughs> cool. Little promo like pseudo magazine here with uh, Guy Ari's uh, is number one interview with James Bunker. Uh, and there he is now today and uh, kind of walks you through his story and stuff. Not going to share this with you because, quite frankly, by the game. That's copyrighted materials. Taking a look here, it does have your full color manual. Walks you again through the story. You know, the cast of characters and everything that's in here. And the controls, it does only utilize the three button controller, so that's interesting to note. Now, if you've got a six button, it'll work just fine. Um, just something as a heads up. How to play. And watch you through all the different weapons and everything. Uh, and this looks to be a pretty accurate recreation of the original. Watch you through the stages, configurations, and that does have a Japanese language section in here too. So good to know, uh-oh. Looked like the staple didn't go all the way through the center one on mine. So um, interesting to note. Now, one thing too is the fact that this does have a reversible cover on it, very similar to uh, their recent release of Dr. Wily, or I'm sorry, Mega Man and Wily Wars. So you have that option. 
or that. I think I'm going to stick with the original one I came with. I actually like that uh, quite a bit. And no, it has nothing to do with a scantily clad woman. I just... I'm not big into skulls. I'll admit that. And then... Let's take a look at the cartridge itself. So you do have the uh, kind of that transparent, translucent sort of uh, casing on here. Um, you know, the box art basically matches what's on the case here. Uh, does have the uh, regular security bits on the back, the fighter and whatnot here too, and then has some Japanese inscription on the back. Not sure what that means. I'm willing to bet you that it probably means uh, Gyarus if I had to put money on it. So let's go ahead. This is how it comes out of the box. Let's take a look at how it plays and sounds. Whoop, whoop, hang, hang on. Gary editing in the future, and I just have to apologize in advance. You are going to see some really terrible gameplay right here. Because this game is hard, and I'm not very good at it. So, you've been warned. Let's go ahead. We'll take a look at it. I'm sorry. All right, so I admit it. The extra large a little bit tight. <laughs> Still need to lose a little bit of weight, but you give me a free shirt, I'm at least going to try to wear it. So, let's take a look at what Gyarus is. All right, so we are launching off uh, with Gyarus here. Let's see. Now, I've never played this before. Definitely kind of has that... Uh, sort of Gradius or R-type sort of feel to it. Now you can speed up or slow down the ship with the A button. Now enemies don't appear to just be one shot. Wow! That was quick for me to die. Oh, that was cool. I now have a... Uh, Oh, I can cat, dude. Okay, that's pretty sweet. You can capture enemies with the C button. Oh. Okay. Do I lose all my upgrades? I did. Dang it. Okay, that's a really cool feature of a shmup. Okay, that's really freaking cool. I've never seen a shoot 'em up that does that before. Oh. But man, this turns into a bullet hell really quick. I guess you may have to shoot him once to pull him in. That's such a cool gameplay mechanic. I like that a lot. Got one! Oh, gotta avoid those! Oh, yes! Okay, I'm digging this. This is really sweet. Oh! That's such a great upgrade system. The sound is phenomenal too, I gotta say, whoa. And uh, I, I wish that I could collect another assistant ship and, and maybe I can uh, later on in the game. Uh, yeah, this is, oh, damn it. Don't. It sent me all the way back. No! Now, the other thing I want to check here, is there a difficulty option? No, there's not. Damn it. So, I mean, this feels very much like the start of Gradius, but you you start off with your your ship versus having to, or not your ship, but your, your assistant, and you don't have to earn it. Oh, that is so cool. That's such a great gameplay mechanic. Oh! And it's getting sent me back to the beginning. It is! Damn it! What? That's awesome! Oh, I can't believe I died. I have no idea how I got that, but that was awesome. So, what do I think of this thus far? Um, brutally hard. Um, I mean, this this has no remorse whatsoever for shooting and killing you. Um, so let's just be honest about that. Like, right there, I thought that I had uh, played a good uh, strategy there of just throwing my ship out, my, my extra little ship out to get another... Uh, Vulcan upgrade and nope it uh, 
it pretty much uh, obliterated me. Whoa! That's a new one. I like that. I like the fact, in a way, this almost feels like a GBASP game because of the scrolling and everything that it does in addition to, oh, damn it. Um, oh, it takes me back here. Uh, with all the scrolling that it does up and down in addition to, you know, the forward and back. All right, got the H laser. Not as powerful as the one that I just had a few moments ago. I like that weapon a lot. That's actually really good. Uh, the P cannon, I guess it's called. Oof, just missed that one. So another strategy to this, I would say, is don't stay towards the edge of a screen. Um, oh, he got me from behind! All right, it's time for some final thoughts. Hey everyone, Gary from the future again, and I can't let that be the wrap of it here. You deserve to see more of the game than just part of the first level that I sucked at. Now, I did some searching online. There is actually a number of cheat codes for Guy Aris, and I found one that definitely helped things out. Invincibility. It's available, you have to basically enable it on each level, but all that you do is you hold down the A, the C, and the start buttons. You don't have to be paused to be able to do this. Now, there's no audible alert or anything like that, but as you can see here, it allowed me to get further in level one, beat level one boss, take me into level two, fight a lot of enemies. This is a great looking, great sounding game, and I'm glad that I found this cheat code so I could see and unlock more and more of it. Beat the level two boss, played part of level three. Now, because I did actually forget to re-enable the invincibility on level three, I did die fairly early on, but it's one of those things it is available for you out there to be able to enjoy this really hard game for the normies like me, the casual shoot 'em up enthusiasts. Uh, it is brutal. It will punish you and it'll make you want to come back and play more. Now it's time for final thoughts. You know how you say it? Fun. This is a fun game a fun package and overall another great addition to the family of re-releases from Retrobit. The quality is absolutely terrific on here, both from a graphical standpoint, a gameplay standpoint, and an audio standpoint. Now, granted, I am going through like the best sort of you know gameplay that you're going to get here. Going through HD Retrovision cables, going through a, a uh, Retrotank 5X, doing the five times line multiplication and everything, this game looks and plays beautifully. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, these were a pre-order sort of item. However, make sure you check out castlemaniagames.com. He may have some limited stock, if not at the time of this video going live, shortly thereafter. Uh, it's one of those you can also sign up for in-stock alerts over there too. Ryan definitely knows how to go ahead and take care of the community. Um, this is a great game, and if you are into this sort of just epic story, great gameplay, kind of a shmup, it is just so much fun, and I'm really glad that I've been able to go ahead and spend some time playing it. I also like the fact they've taken the extra detail and protected the collector's market. Things like the different color cartridges that you have on here, so that way you know at a glance, is it the original, is it the reproduction? There's no bones about it, but they also make sure that you go ahead and have the proper voltage on the board to not damage your system. And it's compatible with not just original hardware, the Model 1, Model 2, Model 3 Genesis. Playing on my JVCXI. Hi, Game Dad, how you doing? Dumbass. Um, and it will play on clone systems as well. It is also both NTSC and PAL compatible too. Well, there's PAL versions and the NTSC versions as well. Um, very, very cool, very excited to go ahead and play this a whole lot more. Now, if you are looking for more information on some of the other awesome Retrobit re-releases, some of their killer controllers, like for this, we were actually using the six button wireless controller as you saw. You know, these are awesome controllers. 
The Big Shot 6 is coming soon too. Those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're we're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastlemaniaGames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.